We have seen that the fundamental building blocks of matter are the atoms, and that the atoms in turn are composed of elementary particles, the electrons, the protons, and the neutrons. And in this segment, I'd like to zoom in on those elementary particles in order to develop a picture that helps us understand what atoms are. The first particle is the electron, a very small particle. Its mass is only 9.1 times 10 to the minus 28 grams, and that's a very small mass by any standard. It also has a charge. Its charge is minus 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 Coulomb. Coulomb is the unit of charge indicated by capital C. The proton is larger than the electron. Its mass is 1.67 times 10 to the minus 24 grams, and that's about 1,800 times heavier than the electron. It also has a charge. Its charge is plus 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 Coulomb. That's the same magnitude as the charge of an electron, yet its sign is different. The neutron is about the same size as a proton. Its mass is also 1.67 times 10 to the minus 24 grams, yet it has no charge. Its charge is zero Coulomb. Now the, the atom is composed of these three particles. The nucleus of an atom, it, the center part of the atom, is composed of protons and neutrons. And these protons and neutrons are held together by the nuclear force. How big is such a nucleus? Well, let's look at the smallest element, hydrogen. The hydrogen nucleus contains only one proton. And the size of this single proton is 1.75 times 10 to the minus 15 meters or 1.75 femtometers. Now let's compare the size of this nucleus with the nucleus of a different element, for instance, uranium. Uranium has 92 protons and 146 neutrons in its nucleus. The size of this nucleus is a lot larger. The diameter is 15 femtometers. So we see from this quick example that the sizes of the element, the nuclear sizes of the elements, are different depending on which element I'm looking at. So the nucleus is the center part of the atom. And we saw that the size of the nucleus is on the order of a femtometer or 10 to the minus 13 centimeters. The atom as a whole, however, is a lot larger than that. The atom is defined by the location of the electrons. The electrons are floating around the nucleus. And the amount of space they occupy sets a mark for the size of the atom. The size of the atom as a whole, as defined by the locations of those electrons, is on the order of 10 to the minus 8 centimeters, which is indeed a lot larger than the size of its core, the nucleus. Now let's look at a quantitative example. Let's take the size of the hydrogen atom nucleus, which is a proton, and compare that to the size of the atom as a whole. The atom as a whole is 5.0 times 10 to the minus 11 meters, or 50 picometers. And the size of the nucleus is 1.75 femtometers. So the ratio between the two is 50 picometers divided by 1.75 femtometers, which equals 2.9 times 10 to the fourth. We see that the diameter of the atom as a whole is much larger than the diameter of the nucleus. In terms of the volume, this ratio is 2.3 times 10 to the 13th, that means that the nucleus is only a tiny fraction of the total volume of the atom. It also means that the atom is mostly empty space. To illustrate that size difference, let's consider putting a marble in the middle of a football stadium. Now the size of the marble represents the size of the nucleus, and the size of the stadium represents the size of the atom as a whole. The electrons, even smaller particles, are floating within the stadium. So this example shows two things. First, the size of the nucleus is a lot smaller than the atom as a whole. And second, the atom is mostly empty space. 